There is no question the roguelite genre is hot right now, and developer One Simple Game throws its hat into the ring with this new adventure, I'm Not Jelly. Nominated for the Audience Choice Award at this year's Rogue Jam, I'm Not Jelly has all the crowd-pleasing hallmarks of the genre. Procedurally generated levels, unlockable power-ups that are reset at the beginning of each run, and of course, one life to make it through to the boss, lest you start over from the very beginning. Set on an alien planet that's, funny enough, invaded by other aliens, I'm Not Jelly stars genetically modified sentient fruit that has been created by this planet's scientists to push back against the invaders. It's a bit cartoony, but so is the rest of I'm Not Jelly. The level designs are pleasantly bubbly, and the characters are all adorable sentient goo. The enemy design is a bit too simplistic, and there's not a lot of variety so far, but it's easy to imagine the team designing a deeper bench of baddies should they take home the $50,000 cash prize at Rogue Jam. As far as combat in this early build goes, I'm Not Jelly has a decidedly misleading title because the main hero does play like, well, Jelly. Similar to games like Deblob, our fruit hero is able to transform into a puddle of goo in order to dodge enemies, parry attacks, and slip under obstacles. When it's not slipping and sliding around in jelly form, players are able to alternate between a melee attack and a three-shot ranged attack, giving the game some Hades vibes. As is standard for the genre, players can purchase upgrades from a merchant using GUI currency you collect during your run. So far, the power-ups appear to all be passive, whether that means building up a meter that adds a damage buff to your attacks or creating an explosive blast when hit. There are health and defense boosts available as well. Despite the cheery art style, I'm Not Jelly is a roguelite that can make you sweat a bit, though it's still geared towards a younger audience. The lack of enemy variety means there are not a lot of different attacks to read, but AI behaves erratically in a way that can sometimes add challenge and sometimes annoy. For example, some enemies spend most of the fight running away before taking pot shots from across the level, which can be frustrating. A lot of I'm Not Jelly is still under development. There are two more Jelly heroes that players will be able to choose from down the line, each with unique abilities that will hopefully change up the flow of combat. That said, neither is available right now. It'll be interesting to see how more variety will add to I'm Not Jelly, particularly given how crowded the roguelite genre is at the moment. Of course, if anything can slide through the crowd and make an impression on the audience, it's Jelly. So here's hoping I'm Not Jelly shapes up in time for the jam.